Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I've got a couple of Sicilian reds today. Uh, what, are, what are they? Uh, first one is Fattorie Romeo, Romeo del, del Castello, uh, and Etna Rosso, uh, and uh, the Allegra Corre. Now, is Allegra Corre a vineyard? Uh, yes, it's a parcel. Allegra Corre means happy heart. Uh, main grape here uh, is uh, Nerello Mascalese, uh, which uh, some, from time to time uh, does a rather nice impersonation of, um, uh, of like a southern Nebbiolo. Oh yeah, it's rather pale in colour. Uh, let's see uh, whether it's uh, as good and as interesting as Nebbiolo can be. It's a gentle, um, almost spicy, slightly smoky bacon-like character. I'm not quite sure whether that is grape or barrel related. There's some uh, some barrels that give a, a smoky note like that to, to a wine. It smells like uh, there's this warm, uh, yeah, warm red cherry character. A little bit of spice. It's, it feels like it's going to be um, fresh, but um, yeah, there's, there's, there's uh, floral things going on in there. Uh, it's one of those that I, I just want to, uh, as with Nebbiola, I want to sort of sit and sniff for a bit longer and uh, uh, and see what more comes out of it. So uh, before I taste it, I will. So I'll be back. It's almost a Kirsch-like, um, warm, juicy plumminess about it. Um, and then this, as with Nebbiola, a whack of tannin. Uh, so oh yeah, almost like a liqueur that um, this uh, strawberry ooze, um, strawberry and cherry ooze. If you imagine chopping uh, fresh strawberries and cherries uh, and then shoving them in a pan with uh, with a little bit of sugar, stirring them and the juice that oozes out after not very long, like about half a minute or so, uh, there's that warm, soft, sweet character. Then this backbone of tannin and that smokiness um, comes through on the finish. I like it um, and uh, I think I, it, one of those wines I just want to keep coming back and uh, trying again because uh, I think it's got more to give than it is giving at the moment. Um, so I'll report back if extra layers come out but I'm going to have another taste for the moment. Intriguing and um, yes I'm, I, I, one of those wines I'm still pondering in my mind about how much I like it. I like it but uh, how much? I will I'll report back. Second wine. Uh, so this is uh, Alessandro Biancolin, uh, which probably means Good Hill or something like that. Uh, and it's a Nero Davola, 2013, um, blah, 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 dense ripe fruit, blah. But anyway, let's just give it a whirl and see where we get to. So much deeper colour from the uh, well, first thing I see about it. Let's give it a sniff. I can't remember the last time I had a piece of Battenberg, uh, but in the way that Battenberg has got uh, that mixture of sponge cake, jam, and almond paste. I'm almost getting elements of all those three. There's this uh, puddingy character. Uh, there's a ripe uh, red fruit character, and some of those fruits are slightly cooked, hence the jamminess, and then this almondy nuttiness uh, on top of it. Uh, it smells like it's gonna be um, probably fuller in flavor, uh, maybe not as tannic as the previous one. Let's have a see. And there is tan in there, um, and um, there's also a little bit of acidity. I'm just wondering whether some of the acidity uh, wasn't in the grapes in the first place, uh, because the finish is just ever so slightly hard. I like that uh, uh, slightly dusty chocolate uh, flay edge alongside the, um, uh, the the berries and the the cherries. Hmm, interesting duo. Um, I prefer the first one, I find it more intriguing, and also I'd put my money on it for, for the long run. But um, I'm tasting these with, uh, with some people uh, later this evening, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, approach them. I think there'll be some who prefer this more immediate fruit of the, of, of the second one. The, the first one is that it's a, a bit wilder, a bit hairier wine, um, and I think that's why I like it, because I haven't got any hair. I do, but not necessarily in the right places. I'll be quiet, and I will see you soon.